If anyone can claim a unique perspective on the first 15 years of this EuroLeague century, it should be the player who, from day one until now, has witnessed the greatest amount of drama from the most different angles. Add a player's EuroLeague seasons to the number of clubs he has represented and countries he has called home, and no one has a higher total than Nikos Sizis of Broza Baskets Bamberg. I have been uh, blessed. Uh, I, it's true that uh, I played in many countries. That's how the things went in my career. And um, I, I had the chance to, to see uh, different cultures, uh, different styles of games, uh, players that less experienced or great legendary players. Zizis has now played 14 EuroLeague seasons with seven different clubs in five countries and is one of four current players who also saw action in the inaugural 2000-2001 campaign when his debut came with little warning or precedence. I was playing for IK Athens um, and actually it wasn't, let's say, the most normal debut because it was uh, for a big, very big game for a quarter-final of, uh, of EuroLeague. I remember coach Ivkovic came to me and he told me we need a young guy to play some defense and give some energy. Uh, it was game three in Athens. I was so nervous. I, I, I can't forget that day. and. Uh, guarding Marcus Brown, one of the EuroLeague legends, and it was a, a quite an experience. I remember I didn't have so good game, but uh, it was great that we, we took the win and we went to the semifinals of, the, of that season. Just 17 years old at the time, Zizis was not immune to a bit of stargazing. The year before, I was in a very small team of Thessaloniki, my hometown and I was watching all these players on TV and all of a sudden I'm with them in the same floor. It was amazing for me to watch all that guys. And you know, there are many that I can mention from, uh, from many teams, but you know, it's not somebody specific. Let's say Manu Ginobili that after making an unbelievable season, I remember that year he was in Virtus Bologna and many other stars that uh, that they were playing in Euroleague and all of a sudden I was 17, I was not even an adult yet, you know, and I was playing with them. Averaging 17 minutes in two playoff games that first season led to Zizis becoming a regular contributor for AEK Athens at age 18 and the starter by 19. He subsequently left his native Greece for two seasons with Benetton Treviso of Italy before landing with powerhouse Seska Moscow and becoming EuroLeague champion in 2008. Because uh, EuroLeague is such a high level competition, um, it's not easy to win EuroLeague. Uh, we have a lot of great, great players that didn't have the chance to do it. Because, you know, when you get to the Final Four, everything can happen. Um, there are, most of the times, are four great, great teams that um, each of them have their own possibilities to win the trophy. So to have the chance and the luck to win it, it's amazing. After finishing as runner-up in 2009 with Seska, Zizis reached the Final Four for a third time in 2011 with Montepaschi Siena of Italy before returning again last season with Fenerbahce Istanbul of Turkey. With Fenerbahce that was the first time ever and that was a very nice feeling for, for me and for all the team. And now I'm here in Bamberg with a team that is uh, more young. And that's also another, let's say, challenge because there are many guys in many of my teammates that didn't have the chance to play yet in EuroLeague. And uh, for sure, my experience, I hope that I can help them a little bit because uh, this competition is so hard and there are so many high-level players. Today, Zizis ranks sixth in games played this century with 245 and is the youngest top 10 player on that list. Now 32 and leading Bamberg in its surprise role as a playoffs challenger, Zizis is ready, 15 years after he arrived, for whatever his EuroLeague career keeps giving him. First of all, I feel a little bit more old. <laughs> uh, second, for sure, is um, I missed only 
two Euroleague seasons because my teams weren't playing. I played in EuroCup. That still it's a high level competition, but for sure Euroleague is the best competition in Europe. Um, I feel very happy about it. The truth is that I've seen everything. I played in a team with bigger role, with a less bigger role. I had the chance to be in a team of, uh, that won the Euroleague, that I went with Final Four uh, with three different teams. It's amazing that um, all this journey that I had, and I'm looking forward for this next challenge.